Hey you guys, so I'm back and I can honestly say that I'm loving school. Like every hour just flies by. It's so much fun. I can really say I enjoy it. And I got these shirts for, I don't know if I've told you guys about my open arms project, but basically it's this thing I started where we help new kids feel welcome and we just try to spread kindness and positivity all throughout my school. Mm -hmm. And I have ambassadors from junior high to high school. And we got these shirts that say, you can sit with us. And I think they're so cute. And if you've ever watched Mean Girls, you'll get it. We're not mean. We're kind girls and boys. <laughs> and we got them from Outpost Expressions here in Alton. And we were going to pay for them. And I got a message. And they donated them to us and I just thought that was so kind and I just thought they should get recognized for that and so we have she told us to use the money towards the organization and we have something super exciting coming up and I'm so excited about it mm -hmm. but so yeah everything in my life is like going great I tell people that I'm genuinely living my best life because I am like my life it couldn't be better except for one thing so, I've gained some weight. Like, I have. There's no... I have. Mm -hmm. And so, probably a month or two ago, I decided that I was going to start, like, eating better and working out. And I come from a family that's super fit most of the time. <laughs> and they eat healthy and things. Like, my dad, he was an all-state athlete, he was a coach, and right now he's really, really working out and eating healthy, and that's really inspiring to me. My mom has ran two marathon marathons. She is not like training right now, but they're both like super awesome, inspiring, and so I've been raised to know better than to eat junk food all the time, but like I do, and yeah. It wasn't working for me and so I think it's kind of cool how at the very beginning of this journey of my YouTube videos was when I started my eating healthy journey journey but the thing is I didn't start it for the right reasons I started it because I wasn't happy with how I looked I have all these wonderful things going for me I take a lot of pride in knowing that I self assess myself self assess myself and that I'm always trying to make myself the best version of myself that I can be. And I'm so proud that everything I've achieved is because I've worked my butt off to do it. And I think that I have a lot of values that are going to pay off so much when I'm an adult and when I get older. And they're definitely paying off now. And I'm confident and I love others. And I love myself except for my weight. And it's not like I'm huge or anything. It's just that as a teenager or no matter what the age, we as society puts this huge, huge, huge thing that we have to be perfect. And that's impossible. And you can't be too skinny, but you can't be too fat. You can't do that. And it really takes me off to be honest. And it really makes me mad that I let it control my mind. Like, I know I'm way mentally, way more mentally tougher than this. But I let it control my mind. And I constantly am like, oh, I'm not good enough because of my weight. Or I don't want to, like, take pictures. Or, like, stupid stuff like that. And it makes me livid. And I truly believe, like, everything I talk about is something that I'm going through. It's not because I've, like, perfected it. It's because I'm struggling with it and talking about it and talking to others about it helps me. And so, yeah, I'm eating healthy right now and I'm working out. I'm going to do a Zumba class after this. I'm super excited and because I want to be healthy. I do. But I wasn't working out and eating healthy at the beginning for the right reasons. And I'm still struggling with how I look, definitely. So don't think that I'm being fake on here because I definitely do struggle and what really opened my eyes was I have this friend he's one of my really close friends 
and I was Snapchatting him one night, and I'm like, oh my gosh, this is when I was like really strict, and I'm like, oh my gosh, I want to eat goldfish so bad, and he's like, Jace, eat the goldfish. He's like, love yourself enough to eat the goldfish, and I don't know why, he probably didn't even realize that what he said even affected me, but I was like, the whole reason that I'm like doing this stuff is because I don't love myself. And that kind of was an eye-opener for me. And yeah, you know, I might not be the skinniest girl in the room, but that stuff doesn't matter. And I'm trying so hard to put that into my brain. And yeah, I've gained weight, but I've also went through three major deaths in my life in a little over a year. And food comforts me, and you know what? I got through that, and I'm stronger because of it. So if I gain a few pounds because of that, you know what? It's fine. But I got to keep telling myself that because I don't believe it. And so maybe I will lose some weight. Maybe I will. But I read this article that I really want to read to you guys that really puts it into perspective for me. So, here we go. Maybe. Also... So I did a poll on my Instagram account and I had about 50 people respond and I asked if they struggled with loving themselves because of their weight. And I think I had about 58% of people say yes. And my Instagram is mainly consists of teenagers. And I wasn't really surprised by that number, but I was surprised that there were like 40 some percent that didn't struggle with their weight. And I thought, how freeing that must be. Okay, so here we go. This is by Amy Weatherly. She's really inspiring. She has a blog. I really love her. Okay, so here it goes. Lose the weight. I got some pictures from a little photo shoot back today, and as I scanned through them with my eyes going back and forth, taking in different pieces of the image, my smile quickly faded and my heart suddenly sank. And the first thought that rushed to my mind was this. Lose the weight. You're too puffy. You're not pretty. You shouldn't have had pictures taken right now. You shouldn't have worn those jeans. You aren't allowed to buy any new clothes until you lose the weight. Five pounds would be acceptable. 10 pounds would be okay. 20 pounds would be ideal. Lose the weight. Never mind the fact that you're happy. Never mind the fact that you're content. Never mind the fact that you're confident in your role. As a mother, a wife, as a worker, as a dreamer, as a friend, as a go-getter. Never mind the fact that you like who you are. Never mind the fact that you like where you are. In that moment, none of the good stuff mattered. None. I was consumed with this overflowing self-hate and this heavy desire to change everything about the way I look. And as I began to want to change everything about the way I looked, it silently slithered its way into wanting to change everything about the way I am. I just wanted to feel beautiful again. As a series of derogatory phrases filled the space between my two ears and slowly dripped their way down word by word into my vulnerable heart. You can't. You won't. It will take too long. Why bother? Ugly, unworthy, unlovable. And as I sat and wrote out my diet plans and my dinner recipes and my workout agendas for the weeks to come, I couldn't stop beating myself up. Lose the weight, lose the weight, lose the weight. It echoed over and over and over. And while I do want to work on my physical health because it matters so, so much, I realized that my mental health matters too. And in that moment, it was seriously lacking, much more so than anything else. And so I worked on shifting my way of thinking because in the long run, tormenting myself won't get me nearly as far as believing in myself. Hating myself won't help me reach my goals, but maybe loving myself a little will give me the boost I need. And so I decided once and for all to lose the weight. I hope you'll join me, join me on this weight loss journey. No before and after pictures, no shakes, no supplements necessary. Just a promise to lose the weight. The weight of the stress, the weight of the worry, the weight of wondering what's to come, the weight of the world. Lose the weight. The weight of expectations, the weight of exhaustion, the weight of other people's unwanted opinions. Lose the weight. The weight of toxic relationships, the weight of the haters, the weight of the joy killers, the weight of the truth twisters. The weight of the ones who want to bring you down to their miserable level. Lose the weight. The weight of comparison. The weight of competition. The weight of the criticism that comes from your own mouth. The weight of the desire to conform to the patterns of the rest of the world. Lose the weight. 
The weight of the demons in your own head. The weight of the whispers from your own heart saying you'll never make it. The weight of the lies saying you aren't capable. The weight of the myths making you believe you shouldn't even make an effort. Lose the weight. It's never easy. It's never quite as simple as it sounds. But it is possible. All good things are. Surround yourself with positive influences, whether that be good books, better experiences, or best friends. Reach out to people and places and things that encourage you to keep the to become the truest possible version of yourself. Reach for happiness, strive for health, search for beauty and for kindness and for meaning. Remember none of these things can be found from the number on the scale, the size of your jeans, or looking skinny in a photo. Keep first things first. And yeah, sure, lose the weight. Just make sure you begin by losing the kind that matters most. That basically sums up everything I've wanted to say for the past few months. And so I'm going to begin by losing that weight. I'm still going to try to eat healthy. And I'm still going to attempt to work out. But I'm going to lose that weight. The weight of not being good enough. Or the weight of comparison to my friends. I'm going to lose that weight. And I think we all needed to hear that. No matter if you aren't happy with your weight or not. We need to lose the weight of never being good enough. And yeah, I'm confident. I'm confident in every other single level but that one. And I'm working on it. And no matter what other people say, what matters is what I think. And I'm going to start working on that. And I just thought that was something you guys should hear. Because that's something I'm struggling with really, really hard right now. But I'm going to fix it. And if that's something that's consuming your mind, if that's all you think about, then join me on this journey. Join me on this weight loss journey. Okay. I'm going to go Zumba it up now. Okay. Have a great weekend.